Well, Michiana residents have been enjoying this gorgeous weather, but it could become a concern for the farmers and gardeners. Right. Matt Gotch joins us live out in the field with more Matt. Yeah, that's right, Taryn Warren. With all the amount of rain that we've had this spring, there's still a good level of moisture in the soil. But that, like the plants, will be short-lived without some much-needed rain in the forecast. Now, plants grown from seed require much less water than already sprouted plants as they are further in the growth cycle. Farmers have also incorporated cover crops and no-till practices to preserve moisture to help plants get through dry spells like we are currently facing. Facing. And farmers say there isn't a need for concern, but that could change if rain scarcity lasts more than a couple of weeks. This early in the growing season, not really. Uh, the crops need very little water at this growing stage. A lot of guys would be uh, would would prefer to finish planting this week. A lot of guys are mowing hay and would love some nice dry weather to get that first cutting of hay off. Um, some wheat could use some rain a little bit, but overall we're corn and soybeans in this area and those crops are going to be just fine for the next seven days, 14 days even, uh, given the current situation. Now, Mathis tells us that, that wise farmers always say Mother Nature has the final word. So here's to hoping for some much needed rain for our farmers and gardeners. Live from St. Joseph County, I'm Matt Gotch, 16 News Now. All right, Matt, thank you very much.